Hello and welcome back. Um, another video on uh, Java and uh, how to go about uninstalling and installing uh, the new update. If you go to the main page which is this one and select need help I think that's important. Click on that. It talks you through all the issues you can have in installing using Java as well as most viewed frequently asked questions. Uh, it talks about how to uninstall old version, um, how to disable and check in control panel and also troubleshoot tips for running Java as listed there and, and then finally how to test that you have Java. Um, if you follow these links and read them carefully before you um, go through it then you can't go wrong. Obviously make sure you back up your PC before you do any uninstallation and installation unless you're confident in following the steps. So it's a good idea to read it first. But briefly what you need to do is um, if there is an old up update on your machine which is um, update 17 as I said mine was update 17 now I've updated to 21 which is the latest one if you click on that install Java as I did you, you you follow this procedure so you manually download and install Java then you uninstall Java from your computer and then this shows you how to install it and then test it although the final one it says what system requirements are there for Java so it's best to check that first uh, if you go there it's these are the supported browsers and operating systems overview for Java so if you go Windows 7 um, XP so it's back 3 32 bit and these browsers or above then you're okay okay and then um, if you click on supported system configurations that's also quite useful and Oracle uh, and the the Java runtime environment 7 are certified system configurations include these operating systems which is for Windows it's Windows 7 32 bit which is what our, my machine is and then the browsers is this one and Internet Explorer 7 to 10 and then obviously the other browsers let's check your uh, browser Explorer obviously you go to this gear thing and then about Internet Explorer and as you can see it's version 10 so that's fine so you check that right the next stage is to actually manually download the Java update so the procedure is download and install and test okay and then um, follow this to to download it I would go to manually download you can online download it but let's go to manual click on that page then you want Windows offline which is 30.2 megabyte for this new 20 update 21 for 7 uh, version version 7 as you can see uh, this is the other one if you've got no problems with the internet your broadband then you can risk using this uh, if it fails then you can have problems but there's instructions for that and uh, and and then check that it may, so it, it, this this works fine for Windows 7 and 32 bit so download that I've already done that and this is the file JRE 7 U 21 Windows I 586 30.1 megabyte as you can see from there okay so once you've downloaded it and you've backed up everything you need to remove it so removing all the versions it says here or you can click from there I've clicked on that one to get to this page in red it says we highly recommend you uninstall all the versions and the reason is they pose a security security risk as you can see there and uninstalling all the versions ensures the Java will run with the most up-to-date security and performance improvements on your system uh, now if you have it, if you want to remove all the versions they say you can safely uninstall that 
but I've not been able to use this uninstall tool and you can learn more about the uninstall tool by clicking this but if you follow the manually uninstall procedure what you basically do is for Windows 7 you go to control panel go to programs I've already got it but you go to programs and features scroll down to Java and if you got Windows Java 17 17 yeah then you click on uninstall okay and then then you once you follow the prompts and uninstall it you may need to restart your machine uh, but if you uh, I use a program called Revo uninstaller which you can get from the internet you can use Revo uninstaller that one sorry mistyped it and then you want the free one I use this the free one that one free one and so you select uh, download version 1.94 and um, that'll remove uninstall it you, you use the uninstaller in there and then it also removes all the history and tracks uh, the program may leave behind but you obviously find at the final stage um, you you would need to um, restart the machine and that's it basically um, then you just basically um, once you removed it double click on that um, and uh, um, obviously you need admin permissions to install it and once you've installed it uh, you can then check the final check is to test it so um, Java verification page so you click on that and then you can verify it here so if I, I've already done that so if I click on this it'll detect Java on your machine this is the final stage allow this to run and it says you got the latest version bingo uh, or you could use um, uh, this patch my PC program and it'll show up as Java 7 update 17 okay it's not doing it and then you select that um, you select that and then you perform the update and it'll do it for you and then when it goes green it's patched your machine so if you got the old one it'll update it to the new if you want to do that but follow the instructions uh, as previously uh, and on the Java website you can't go wrong and that's basically it thank you for watching bye for now